We are continuing to look at some of our students' work. Please forgive me for not remembering which one of you created this. I don't want to call out the wrong name. I think I know, but I really don't want to call out the wrong name. This is another piece that we learned in our Creative Flair class. And look at this liatris. We have talked all week about how this liatris wasn't straight, but has its very own character. And all of our students struggled with making all of these liatris work for them. So in this case, she has terraced them and is making sure to keep the bend in the liatris coming back into the arrangement so that it's not leading away from the eye. We have more tailored plumosa. It too is leading us back into the arrangement. She's made some really great stones out of the midnight foam, terraced her Fujis, her Cremones, and another technique that we learned in class, if I can get it out, was how to make the Salal rows. So we talked about making it out of Salal and all the different things that we might could make it out of if we're given for testing. So one of the things that we stress in our classes is try learning a technique that you can do with two or three different types of product because you could make this Salal rose out of silver dollar foliage or out of um, several other types of foliage and get this same look. Galax leaves or even one of the students used um, some Israeli ruscus and made a very small delicate one and I really wish I had that to show you because they took it home with them. They were so proud of it. But learn a technique that you can turn into three or four different ways that it can be used and three or four different products that you can use it. Make it simple for you. We have another Kabari down in the base of the arrangement. I hope you can see that. But it, this is a really clean, smooth arrangement made by one of our students.